What's up crew? It's Chris with Clover Tacking. Welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, I certainly love my patches and I know a lot of you folks out there, well, you like your patches too, but what if you pick up some that doesn't have that hook and loop or that Velcro backing? What if they're sew on or iron on or something like that? Well, today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way you can turn pretty much any patch into a Velcro patch. Before we jump into it today, a quick welcome to those that may be new to the channel here on Clover Tech. We talk about all things firearm related. Yes, sometimes even patches. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button while you're there. If you want to keep up to date on all the new content here on the channel, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. All right, here we are on the bench. Going to get started showing you guys how to make pretty much any patch a velcro patch now uh, you'll notice that i'm wearing gloves here there's a reason for that i'm uh, going to be messing with some adhesives and uh, just helps keep that stuff off of your hands obviously you're going to need some patches uh, you can have uh, obviously you know they're not going to have velcro on the back that's the whole point of this right so they can be iron on they could be uh, potentially a sew on patch but um yeah gonna need that as far as uh, hardware, whatever, you're going to need a pair of a pretty decent scissors uh, and some popsicle sticks or you know, some type of uh, little stick. You're going to need something to, uh, maybe even a toothpick, but something to spread uh, the adhesive around. Now, I found that this adhesive, if I can speak today, works uh, best. This is uh, Aline's Super Fabric Adhesive. Uh, and on this, on the little sticks I use, also on the 4-inch Velcro, the, the hook and loop, they call it. Velcro is a brand name. Um, I'll leave some links down below uh, to where I got this stuff off of Amazon. You don't have to shop those links. They are affiliate links. If you do shop them, then it does benefit the channel. But uh, look this stuff up somewhere else. You might can find it at a cheaper price even than Amazon and uh Good Lord, don't want you to shop those links and spend more money. But uh, yeah, the four inch, this is four inch and you get three yards of this. And it is both sides, the hook and the loop. For these patches, we're only going to use the hook side. And just to show you what that looks like. So you know you've got uh, the hook and the loop side. You've got the, what is the rough or the coarse and then the softer material for the, the hook and loop. It's this rough that you use for the patches and this is how they come in that uh in that box you've got two rolls and uh not going to need the softer one throw that uh to the side for a uh for a rainy day i suppose now, i did forget to mention here but two more things that are going to be important too i'm working on you'll notice here a uh, a piece of wood a nice hard surface uh with using this adhesive here uh, it's just easier to clean up and clean off of this if I get it on here, as opposed to using some type of a cloth or a fabric. Now, if you've got a silicone mat or something like that, maybe even one of those um, plastic style cutting boards probably work just as well. And don't have this on camera, but I'll mention it here a little later on as we get the uh, Velcro, the uh, hook onto the patches. You're going to need some type of weights. So the way we're going to start this out is uh, really simple. I'm going to grab our patch here and we're just going to cut us a section of this uh, hook material here uh, that is a little bit bigger than the patch. And then we'll get the excess, of course, set to the side. Be done with that. going to also get the other patches completely out of the way here because I do not want to get uh, any adhesive on any of the patches that I'm not working with. Scissors can go to the side. We don't need them right now. Uh, and pay close attention when we get to doing this that, <laughs> again, you've got a, a smoother side on this and then you've got a rougher side. That rougher side is what sticks to your surfaces. So it's the smoother side that uh, you're going to want to put on the back side of the patch like so once we get the adhesive on just want to remember that so uh yeah take your adhesive and with this 
Good idea to keep it uh, rolled up. If I can keep it from getting into my gloves there. What we're going to do is we're just going to start putting adhesive on, like so, this patch. And typically, I outline it. I go around the uh, outside edge here. Now, be mindful of your gloves and where your hands are and all that kind of stuff. Notice I'm kind of tapping it <laughs> one way uh, or the other there instead of grabbing it. And then I will uh, start putting some down the center here, like so. And uh, should be good. Make sure that when you get done, you cap that off because it will leak on you and get onto your surface. We don't want that. Set that to the side. Grab one of our little uh, sticks here. And now we're going to try to gently hold this thing without making uh, too much of a mess, hopefully. And we're going to smooth what we have uh, put on there as far as that adhesive. We're going to work on smoothing that down a little bit. Kind of evenly distribute that. Takes this stuff a little while to set up. So you've got time to work with it here. And then once you uh, get done with that, I'm going to set that just off to the side. But you want to get rid of that. And remember, we're going to go with the smooth side. We're simply going to press that down over the patch like so. And before it gets set, flip it over and make sure that we've got overlap. Now, once this is glued all into place nice and uh, the glue is set, the adhesive has set, we're going to trim it. But for now, what we're going to do I've actually got a box of, uh, of bullets here that is pretty heavy. So I'm going to set this to the side. And uh, yeah, I'm going to set that box of bullets on it like so. Takes a few hours for that glue to set up. Uh, I would leave it overnight probably or something like that. With Again, this is pretty hefty with uh, plenty of pressure on it. While that one is off to the side here, I'm going to grab another patch. And we'll just go again. Let's take a quick break for a question of the day. And as far as my patches, I get a lot of them from trade shows like SHOT Show and things like that. Also purchase them from places like OwlandAnchor.com or maybe gear websites. And I'm just curious where you guys out there get your patches from. Go ahead, jump down in the comments below and let me know. All right, it's been a few hours now. I think it's been long enough that we can grab one of these yeah it's not moving on us and now the task is going to be just take our scissors and i cut at an angle okay so i'm going to get uh, at an angle and just trim where the hook material doesn't stick out past the actual patch that could be a bit of an eyesore right if we have it that way. So I want to make sure that it uh, looks good. It's the whole point of doing this. We don't want patches that look bad, of course. And uh, there we go. And actually, this has only, it's only been drying a few hours. And so once I get these trimmed, probably going to set them to the side, put the weight back on them, uh, and let them set just a little bit longer. But there is the uh, Velcro, the hook material on the back of that patch. Once that sets up, uh, it'll be on there really, really strong. This particular fabric adhesive, again, from Aline's. I'll link to that down in the description below. I find works really well if you get pressure on it and you let it set up long enough to cure or whatever. And then the four inch velcro which makes things a whole lot easier uh excuse me not four inch velcro four inch hook and loop material right uh, i'll link to that down below as well so there you go crew what i consider a quick and easy way to turn any patch into a velcro patch remember if you want to continue the conversation you can always do that down in the comments below thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and until next time don't forget 
to change by our freedom.